Well, a big announcement today regarding the major redevelopment project planned for the Poppleton community of West Baltimore. After years of fighting, several of the homes in the area, some of them historic, will be spared from demolition. Sean Stryker has more on the decision and what it took to make it happen. After an 18-year battle, Sonia Eady will get to keep her West Baltimore home in Poppleton. This has been a long time coming. Edie found out in 2000 her home was slated to be demolished through what she calls misuse of eminent domain to make way for a nearly $800 million West Baltimore redevelopment project. They kept saying, oh, eminent domain is unbeatable, but this is proof today that if you stand, if you don't give up, that everything is possible. After years of fighting and public outcry, Edie was able to work with the city and the New York based developer, La City Development, to save her home. So I thank this administration for finally hearing us, for finally seeing us, for finally giving us the opportunity to be at the table. But it's not the only win for the neighborhood, with Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott announcing the historic houses on Sarah Ann Street will also be saved and renovated by Black Women Build Baltimore for future home ownership opportunities. This will advance the redevelopment of those properties in the next phase and help foster Black home ownership right here in Poppleton. Mayor Scott also announcing they will be working to develop affordable senior housing, redevelop and expand the Poe homes while continuing to seek input from the community. This victory is for us, all of us. It's not just Poppleton. This is a victory for all of us, Baltimore City. From West Baltimore, Sean Stryker for WJZ.